I mean, gravitation is a very small unit, but this is actually studied in science called astronomy. Astronomy is a science which deals with the interstellar, the planets. Now, if you go back in history and you try to find out that how did or how was the universe created, then it is said, it was believed that Earth was one central point and around which everything was moving. And this reason was that we were talking about the Hindu mythology, in Hindu mythology, everything is going to be in the mouth of the mother, life is going to be So everybody believed that it is centric earth and that is why it is called, it, the universe was called geocentric. Then time passed. Ekor Devi, Ekor Devta ka avtar hua, Surya Dev. So suddenly he got prominence and it was believed that everything moves round the sun. And then it was said it was heliocentric. How do you know? बहुत ही कमाल की बात है कहां से पढ़ा आपने मैगजीन में पढ़ा था कमाल है यार इस उड़ान उड़ान की जो लड़कियां हैं मैंने तो कमाल कर सुन के मतलब कहां से तुम्हारे पास इतनी नॉलेज आई आई एम इंप्रेस्ड सो इट वाज सेड इट इज हीलियोसेंट्रिक हीलियो इज हीलियस हीलियस इज सन कज कई देखो सोचो सर सोचो आप कि जब तक ये क्लियर नहीं होगा जब टिल द टाइम इट वाज नॉट क्लियर दैट इट इज सन एंड नॉट अर्थ लोग उस गलत धारणा पर क्या-क्या धारणाएं बना चुके होंगे Maybe after 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, we realize that what we were talking about now was probably wrong. Then it was proved. Actually proved how? Is somebody's thought, I mean, everything is available in the universe. Let me do one thing. Let me see their actual path. So there was a scientist who decided that I'm going to actually study the paths of sun, earth, moon, planets. I'm going to actually study it. And he started mapping it. He's followed the path. And he collected all this data and gave it to Kepler. Till then it was believed that everything is in a circular orbit. All this data went to Kepler and Kepler formulated the three most important laws in gravitation. And that is how the real thing came to being is that it's not circular, it's electrical. Yes. From Kepler's, it moved on to... Now, somebody had to explain. Now, see, Kepler said that yes, they are in an in a elliptical path. Kepler said that there is a time period they have and that time period is related to the radius. But somebody had to explain why is this happening? Why exactly is all this happening? I mean, why is it that with respect to sun, everybody is moving around it? in an elliptical path. Then came Newton in his famous theory where he says in his Newton's gravitational law of attraction, he says, everything in this universe attracts another body. And while attraction, attractive force will be a central force. All attractive forces are central force. Central means radial forces. So if I could give a particle sufficient centripetal force or centripetal acceleration then with with respect to one particle the other particle can actually move in a circular orbit are you getting my point so so this is how the whole theory came into being